I needed a cleaner cabinet uh, for you know growing tissue culture cells and some electronics that I was working on. And these are pretty useful. You can grow cells without contamination, repairing hard drives, and you know uh, chip level electronics. Thought about I could grab one commercially. They were just too expensive. You can see the prices here for brand new ones. Use one cost up about like half or a little bit less, two to three thousand bucks for decent ones. So just went ahead and built one. This is the final product. Advantage is incredibly light compared to the commercial ones. And you can see the size there. Uh, so here I'm showing you operating. I reused the electronics from a domestic uh, air purifier. It has a nice four speed fast fan, but I also went ahead and did, added a booster fan, which I'm turning on so if you need a quick rapid clean. So the design, I decided to diverge from the standard format. In my design, air uh, goes through this area here. The red air is not sterile. It's pulled through by a fan, by vacuum, and then goes to a bottom perforated panel and recirculates around. Commercial units, instead of pulling air, they push air through a filter, so turbulence. They also shoot some outside, and they only went from the front and the back. See, there is a gap in between. Construction plan was pretty simple. It's a cabinet with front and back. I started with the bottom. So the base is essentially wooden strips. Uh, uh, and here I, I use the standard butt joint. So glue, uh, I pre-drilled the holes and then uh, screwed in uh, the standard kind of screws in there to hold the unit. So these butt joints have worked pretty well. They're quite strong. Once the uh, external strips were there, or the frame, I then did the internal strips. And once all those were done, then I just put, covered the base with wood, a piece of plywood, plywood which I had actually scrapped. This is one fourth inch plywood. Then the back was essentially vertical strips held by little splints. So I, I'm gluing the splints made out of pergo flooring, which is incredibly hard. Uh, and then I attached the vertical risers uh, with a construction adhesive. Here you can see all four vertical risers being attached to the base and they were all at 90 degrees. Once the risers were cured, the glue was cured, I attached a piece of MDF, uh, one fourth inch MDF with glue screws and clamps. And I was not too worried about using uh, wood. So this is the front panel, uh, which is slopes around eight, uh, 10 degrees in. So I cut the strips uh, at a 10 degree angle and then put side panels with the left and right out of plywood and again like i said uh, i was not worried about using wood because i have this almost magical material called sure coat which essentially makes wood impervious to water and the edges were covered with uh, polyester mesh uh, plus another coat of it i'd forgotten to cut slots for the side through which the air would circulate i had to go back and do that then i went ahead and did the inside panels uh, starting with the back back was made out of uh, three and a half, I guess, pergo floorings. The bottom has a hole cut out for uh, uh, electrical receptacle and switch. And in the next few, I just bought these and then uh, cut out the approximate uh, holes with uh, a drill and then a jigsaw. and did a quick test fit to just see that, you know, everything seemed to look okay. Once the test fit was, uh, was okay, I just went ahead and started the wiring and the wiring was quite simple. Uh, it's standard. So the live wire goes through the switch into the socket. Earth and neutral are connected to the relevant uh, screws or holes, depending on what unit you have. White is neutral here. Uh, and you can see the yellow wire. I put an extra one uh, that was kind of going there. Then the side panels were attached just with screws, not with glue, uh, because I might have to remove it for cleanups or other things. Uh, so you can see the left and the right side panel. The filter, the fan filter was supported by this brown brace on the top. And I'd run out of the white woods at some other strips of uh, approximately. So I built a, essentially a rectangle, a shelf if you want to call it, or shelf support on which the fan will rise. So the bottom is an MDF uh, uh, piece and on which the filtration unit. I harvested the filtration unit from something we had and my actual wife had forgotten we had no complaints there. So here I'm just showing you opening it up. This is the pre-filter. You can see it's not been cleaned for a while. Uh, so I took this out uh, and then below it is the HEPA filter. 
which holds back uh, like 0.3 microns or small or larger particles and below that is a carbon filter it's a pretty neat unit overall and i'd separately wash this with steam and other stuff it's a nice fan in this unit so to access the fan i had to remove the filter holders which also held the electronics uh, the touch band you know for controlling it and stuff like that the four screws which essentially uh, release the filter frame and once i had that off i could now see what the electronics were so you see on the bottom right this is a, a dust sensor that you just see popping up and i think in the next one the dust sensor is right here and just above that is a high voltage ion generator quite neat and then the electronics the main board is on the right uh, the bottom of this uh, air purifier is also integral to the uh, blowers i had to save that i thought i would uh, get away with just having the fan there but this is required so i removed it uh, and we'll be attaching this to the uh, to that MDF sheet so it will form the base of the fan uh, and, and then the fan will fit inside and then the rest of the stuff will go on so here I'm pulling the the base of that air purifier it's a rabbit air bio GS uh, to show the fan and it's a pretty nice looking fan quite large and uh, seem powerful enough to show air at hundreds of uh, cubic feet per minute and it had a controller on the right which connected to the fan so it's a four speed fan and you can see the multiple wiring that go to the motor i didn't need to remove it i had to plug it back in uh, afterwards there i show you the back of the bio gs attached to that mdf and i used two triangular pieces of uh, plywood to funnel the air to the bottom and the air would funnel through a vent which I'm about to cut uh, in, in that uh, MDF piece. So I just use a jigsaw to cut the rectangle out. And the open was sealed with another scrap piece of MDF so the air would funnel down into the thing. You can see it here. I seal both the insides and outside of it with that uh, sure coat, that roofing compound. You can just see the whitish stuff in there, even on the right. It's totally sealed now. Then I reattached the fan uh, with its original screws. I couldn't fit the top frame exactly, so I had to uh, trim it off on my bandsaw. And I just kept the frame part which would hold the filters. I didn't need the electronics things on the right. That would be extended to you know the front panel. I put back the clean filters uh, in there. The first the carbon and the HEPA. And I'm not showing it here, but the pre-filter was attached later on too. Okay, uh, so so this is the filter on the top. I, I decided to add a booster fan layer on the bottom. And this is it. So these were extra fans I had lying around. These are all 110 volt AC. And I played around with the fan and other placements just so that I could get even airflow. And I used uh, this uh, airspeed sensor or CFMO unit or so to figure out. Once I figured that out, the fans were attached. You can see the air will flow from the vent onto the fan unit. This is the bottom view of the fan, five inch, three inch and five inch fans. Uh, then once that was done, I attached an AC inlet on the back of the unit. And I'm just showing the inside view. This was wired in and the wire led through the back panel behind the pergo panels up here. So the wiring here shows the wiring from the uh, switch uh, wire and then a few additional wires so the yellows are uh, the thing this shows a bit more detail here and sorry you'll have to pause the video to kind of figure out how the wiring was done I won't walk through it in too much detail because what you might be doing might be substantially different uh, then I decided to just kind of wrap up the thing right so there would be a top panel a front panel uh, with a cutout for the electronics and for the, I used two 18 inch glass panels which were held with that aluminum L bracket on the bottom. I did, uh, and I cut out the electronics hole for the, in the front panel, attached the bezel from the air cleaner and the electronics, and slid the bottom uh, polypropylene panel into place. Once that was in place, uh, put the glass and the tops and everything, and switched it on and uh, did some more testing uh, in here. So, 
about to switch it on and it goes through a self check and then this essentially moves it up uh, to different speed levels once that is on I also read it the booster test that time goes to do that. the internal uh, AC socket was also tested and I just had a high power LED UV LED by the way I'm not using those for sterilizing just like that and this is the final unit still have a bit more work to do I have not wired the inside uh, illumination or the UV lamps for sterilization thanks for watching